Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markway at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. Hello, this is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Marquis of Living Streams International bringing you Matters of Faith with Graphic Online. Make sure you subscribe to Graphic Online, it's very important. And we use in this place, Ketsi, of uh, uh, La Beach Resorts or the La Beach Hotel. We're so grateful to them. But you know, this, this morning I'd like to capture my, my thoughts with the words, time peace for God. Time peace, ti time peace for God. You, you know, um, I always tell people that for me when I get to heaven one of the things I'm going to take to God I'm going to buy him a watch I'm going to give God a watch why because I, the truth of it is it looks as if hey man the old man up there you know sometimes he has a very I mean for me I mean as a human being without understanding and of course you get it without a full perception of everything I said God man you have a very poor sense of timing come on all of us have been in situations where we need something today and we need it die, and we need it so, it, it, the, the need is so die. And that boy, it, it's like life and death. You need it, and you keep praying, and you keep praying, and you keep praying, and you keep praying. And one way or the other, you don't understand there is a delay. The, the, the reasons for needing those things are just. The reasons for, for even asking those things are, are, are righteous. Because God says sometimes you ask and receive not, because you ask and miss. So there's not an amiss, there's not an uh, over-the-bar uh, request, but it is an essential request, sometimes even for his own work and sometimes for his for, for we doing it for his own glory but then that is when he takes his time just like uh, they tell him that hey uh, Lazarus is dying and then he takes his time and sound touch to the place you know and you know, I'm, I'm like hey God what's going on and that was what when he got there the people said if you had been here he would not have died and that was a serious accusation and still nonchalantly he said he's not dead he's alive yet it looks like the old man above, you know, sometimes, maybe, I mean, you know, just, you know, you, by the time you, you're so exhausted, by the time that finally he comes through, you're so exhausted that you don't even have the strength to rejoice. You know what? And I, I, I must be very honest with you. I have fought with this idea. Now, God, what's, what's going on? Yeah, we need this thing today. And what are you doing? What's the delay for? Find a way and give us a miracle. Find a way and open the door for us. Find a way and give us a breakthrough. Find a way and give us a resolution to these issues. Find a way to give us an answer to the things that we are asking for. Even if you don't want to give it to us, tell us. But then I'm reading through the mazes of Scripture and then I come across Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 11. Which in actual fact was my wedding slogan. In his time, he makes all things beautiful. Oh, oh. So it, it means our time is not his time. Yes, that's true. We move with the Kronos. He moves with the Kairos. We move for the now. We move for the second, minute by minute, second by second. You get nanosecond by nanosecond. That's what we do. But he doesn't do things that way. He moves with the season. And guess what the Bible says? In his time, he makes all things beautiful. So what he's doing, that he's, he makes all things. So even as you're talking, he's in the process. But he has timed it in such a way that the timing is perfect. The timing is going to be at the right place. An unripe mango is going to uh, 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 set your teeth on edge. An unripe uh, lemon is going to set your teeth on edge. An unripe guava is going to set your teeth on edge. And an unripe uh, 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 orange fruit is going to set your teeth on edge so God times it so that the thing is perfect and and you know what here comes here comes uh, uh, something that that really that really you know my friends who climb mango trees and when they go for the mango trees guess what they do they would try to pluck on ripe mangoes and then one time some one of them just climbed a tree and then fell from off it yeah, I'll be taken to hospital and all that. About two, three days later after his fall, we saw ripe mangoes just falling on the floor. Timing. You see, in God's time, he makes all things beautiful. So that the blessings of God, he doesn't add any sorrow. 
The blessings of God are without regret. The blessings of God are supposed to create laughter. Not whilst you're eating, you're still watching who's coming from behind. So here's the simple truth. In his time, he makes all things beautiful. I would advise you, be patient. He's working it out. See you later.